Hey guys, came here and today I'll be reviewing this Razer E325. This is an electric scooter made by Razer. This is a very, it seems to be very rare because I can only find like one picture of it on the internet. Um, it is a E325. Now basically it's just an E300 but with the E325 logo on the side and it says electric power right there. Um, these are like I think 10 inch wheels that it has. They're very nice and they're also pretty big too. Um, in the back there's the motor as well as another tire about the same size I think. You can see that this one doesn't really need, it doesn't have very much chain protection. You can see it right there but then the tires have a bunch of little spikes on them for a grip I'm pretty sure but um, yeah it's pretty cool. Uh, so here's a look at the front. Um, it says Razor right here and there's like a little razor symbol on the back um, so at the top here there's like a little caution sticker it says warning this product moves when used exercise caution and common sense in writing read the owner's manual and additional warnings before using check local laws and regulations to see where and how you may use this product legally keep away from motor vehicle traffic Renda, Renda. Recommended age 13 and up, which I am 13. Um, so this is a nice, it has a nice rubbery feel. It says Razor a bunch of times. I mean, like it says it like so many times, I don't even get it why. It says it four times on the handle. These are some really nice brakes. They're like, they feel like really good. And you can see like the little wire right here. And it feels really nice like whenever you put it on your handle on. I only have one hand right now. Um, so, and then over here is the twist grip accelerator. You twist it, and then to make it go. But the way you twist it is, you move your whole hand. And then with your other hand. And then, as you can hear, there's the brake is being activated back here in the uh, motor part. I don't know where it is, but um, anyway. And then all these wires go into this like little tube sock that goes this way around here and into there so um the scooter does have some form of suspension i'm not really sure what it is but you definitely feel it whenever you go over a bumpy road which is my whole neighborhood Let's see and the tires have nice the, the tires are nice they uh, um, absorb shocks pretty well um anyway so um that's a basic look at the uh, E300. Not right now. I'm gonna grab my old E3200 or E200. Well, um, so this is going to be a size comparison of the e Razor E200, which is tailed to this nice white yeah, E300 or E325. So let me tell you something interesting about the E325. So there's the Razor E300, which is a more powerful version the Razer E200 but the E325 has an adjustable speed control like so you can go fast or slow like slow like it, it's digital proportional but they removed that feature and this one is just on or off just like the E200 they also had an E225 which is way more rare like both of the E300 E325 and E225 are rare but I just haven't even seen an E225 I hear they exist though but I don't even get it. This one is just one speed, even though it's an E325. I find that very confusing. Um, but um, the normal color for the E325 is like a black. The normal E300 color is like a that kind of like a green kind of like that sticker color. And the E200 is normally in teal, which is what I have here. Twist grip. The, so over here, the handle's like this, and then over here, you have to put your hand, the handle's like this the brake handle is like this and it doesn't really you can barely even hear it this time but um so yeah same twist grip accelerator but it rests at like a slightly um higher position it also says razor bunch um i would have to say that those ones feel a little bit nicer um sorry i'm in a little bit of weird lighting right now it's it's getting a little dark um anyway but um different tire tread like if you look at that one how it is like kind of like that well this one is like kind of like that here's what I look at the inside um let's see so but the chain is protected you cannot see the chain 
um, and then you can see the screws fit the bolt. So the kickstand on this scooter, it's pretty nice. If you start rolling it, it'll automatically put itself up. But um, with the other one, it'll just kind of like skid along the ground until you put it up. Now it'll eventually go up, but it doesn't like just automatically go up like with this one. See, listen. Let's see if you just kind of. See, it just kind of struggles, but I mean, if you go far enough, it'll eventually just do it. But um, that's something nice about that one because if you like forget to put it up, geez, this thing's hard to push backwards. So with the um, Razer E uh, 300, it seems like whenever you turn off the motor, like the motor get, goes in and out of gear, because I mean this thing's rolling like it has no motor in it, and then backwards. You can hear it has slight, it has a lot more resistance and it makes a little noise, but it's not smooth, but it's still it's basically kind of like kind of what you would expect if it did have a motor if the motor wasn't out of um, gauge whenever like it shifts in and out of gear whenever you turn it like you'll be able to hear it if I uh, turn it on real fast. Oh yeah, so sorry I accidentally pressed the pause button. I had no idea. So um, yeah, I kind of did like like another two minutes of review without camera on. So here's the charge port, it has like three holes, the cord's like six feet long and has a, a light which is nice to tell you if it's charged or empty or charging or broken. Um, here's the on and off switch, it has a nice LED light, which you can see from a while which is nice. And then here's the like little reset button, I don't know what it does, but um, it's interesting. And like if you were to drive this could you could hear the motor going click, click, like clicking into gear, but this other one. It just, it's just always engaged. So like if you turn it on, which for the E200, same kind of thing, the LED light. It's kind of like, sorry. It just kind of like goes, and then with the other one, it's just like, I don't know. And then coasting, the motor stays in gear whenever you coast and whenever it's off. But the other one, whenever the motor's not on, it's not engaged. So whenever it coasts down the hill, the scooter's on or off it rolls real nice but um yeah now I'm gonna show you some footage of me just um riding around on it I forgot to tell you, the scooter is driving, and I've already drove it three, uh, three and a half miles since I last charged it. Still holds up really well, but um, yeah, and it, it's not very, it's not the best at accelerating. Like it takes a while, but once it gets up, going up to like 16 miles an hour, it is fast, and it goes really fast downhill because the motor is engaged, so it just coasts really well. Yeah, the scooter isn't like super, duper, it's not like at full power, so it's not going as fast. It's noticeably slower because it's, I've driven it like three and a half miles. But, um, so yeah, the E300 is pretty nice for, uh, especially for long trips. Because, I mean, I drove this thing three and a half miles and, like, it works like a charm. It's not like the best at pushing you up, like, really steep hills. Like, we have tons of those out, out here out in the hill country. But, um, yeah, so that was the E300. Now I'm going to switch scooters. Right. So now I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to show you riding the E200, which is way less powerful. And um, yeah, I'll leave a link to both of these in the description below, as well as um, raise, links to Razor.com.
Now this E200 has like a fresh new charge, but um, it, it, it's very old. I've used it a lot, and um, yeah, it needs like a probably a new pair, like a new set of batteries. They both have two 12, uh, two 12 volt batteries, which are like gargantuan, but like probably, and they're like thirty dollars for two. Um, probably need some new tires because I mean these things are pretty worn out. But yeah, um, it, it needs about a fresh new everything except for a uh, charge because I just charged it and it's been sitting charged for a while. So here we go again. The nice, so the, uh, the Razer E325 is like 55 pounds, this is only 40, so uh, stopping it is way easier. And um, handling is actually a lot easier to make a turnarounds because it feels like this thing turns sharper, maybe because it's lighter. Anyway, but it's way better at making like um, hard turns like I do at the top of my driveway. But um, yeah, so that's this one, and then if you want to see the other one again, which I'm going to go grab that one. But the E325 is just noticeably bigger. It's, um, yeah, probably about the same size, but um, it's taller. Uh, it's quite a bit faster. The tires are quite wider and larger. But I mean, both of them are very nice scooters. But I'm just starting to outgrow the E3, uh, E3200. It's a, they both are recommended age 13 and up. But I think for the E200 it should be like 11 and up and the E300 should be 13 and up because the E300 has a 220 pound weight limit compared to like a, uh, on the E200 over there is uh, I think 155. So yeah, um, but very nice. The e and uh, the E200 just does not coast as fast. But um, yeah, the E200 can be found like $150 and the E300 can be found like 200 to 25. But yeah. Gotta search hard on eBay and yeah. Take it. But yeah, the brakes definitely on this one are just like, they don't feel as like tight or like, it seems like harder to stop on this one because it's probably, because it's a lot heavier. But um, yeah, that was my review of the Razer E325 and E200. Thanks for watching. Bye.